So you figured it would really be a bum night, it would be an easy night, but it wasn't. This Pelicans team gave them everything that they could handle. Knicks needed 48 minutes to put this team away, but they would do so by the score 123 to 117. But the biggest story was that it was by the hands of RJ Broadway Barrett with a career high. 35 points. Five. Eight rebounds. Uh. Six assists. The closer of the night, folks. RJ Barrett takes us home. 35. Six yeah. for eight from three. The kid that they were saying yep. he can't shoot. Yep. He ain't got a shot. What? Off the dribble. What? Off Everything. the screen. What? Everything. He said, Kemba, close it out. Uh, you know, Mashana not working right now. Julius, yep, God, uh, he, yep. he hit this air ball. He's like, you know what? Cool. I got y'all. And he closed the damn thing out. And, and like you said, going into this thing, I, I was sitting back. I was expecting this thing to be a blowout. Yeah. You know, I'm getting a little too comfortable with my 4 and one Knicks, thinking that, you know, they're going to be gassed. No Brandon Ingram, Zion sitting on the bench, you know. I, I thought this was going to be done. But yeah. uh, the shout-out to the Pelicans. They, they put in – a fight. I don't know if it's a lot of us losing the game or if a lot of them, but they fought. You yeah. know, I got to give them credit when they fought. But they, look, I, we could talk about everybody else as the show goes on. The flowers need to go to R.J. Barrett. Yeah. I know he, he just came in so hot. I'm like, yo, R.J.'s got to go tonight. I just had a yes. feeling that, like, if as long as they would feed him, as long as they went to him and ran his plays, he was going to deliver for us. And he started the game off. He hit a, a, a nice jump off the bounce, hit a nice three off the bounce, hit a nice baseline mid-range off the bounce, found Mitch three times for, for assists. Love Two it. off the Gotham lob and, and a nice little wraparound. A couple times, you know, when, when Tibbs runs that pistol action for him, it's the similar plays that Tibbs would run for Jimmy Butler. Little side pick and roll to get RJ going downhill. That was his go-to play last year. You know, Knicks would open up with that play a lot of times to get RJ going. And Mitch, a lot of times, was his safety valve. And, you know, I talked a lot about that with, uh, with Tommy D when we did our, our court vision with Mitch. And we were saying that, you know... When Mitch went down, it kind of hurt RJ from a playmaking standpoint because Mitch was kind of his safety valve. So he caught th Mitch for three dimes in the first half alone. But overall, bro, the, the offensive arsenal was just on the money. I mean, he was finishing with the left, finishing with the right, finishing in contact, you know, shooting mm -hmm. off the bounce, whether it was from the mid-range or the three. The kid's game was on the money. Just, just, just incredible. You know, everything that Crazy. he worked on was on full <laughs> display in this game, and he, he looked great from start to finish, bro. Did RJ, and that, I think that was the big thing, because like you mentioned, you know, getting the ball to him and, and um, playing through RJ Barrett, you could see that he had offense on his mind and mm -hmm. still provided the defense today, but he had, um, uh, he, he made it a point to go out there and score in all the ways that you had just mentioned from the yeah. paint, left hand, right hand, uh, off the dribble, fadeaway, uh, you know, corner threes, like he was sh showing the full Arsenal offense because it looked like he wanted to score tonight. I yeah. think that that was key because, you know, we, we were having these collapses in these last few games, mm -hmm. and he he did not shy away from that moment, knowing that we needed buckets to close out. Not he gave all. us those buckets to close out and throughout the entire game. So, and, yeah, and, man, and I, give I credit, can't say enough. You don't give credit to, to Kemba, give credit to Julius for deferring for sure. to him in, the, in that sure. late stretch. You know, yeah. Kemba feeding him, saying, yo, go, go to work, and RJ delivered right. for us, man. So give credit to the vets for going – and, and, and uh, you know, giving, showing the confidence in the kid to go out there and close for us. 12 of 18 from the field, 6 of 8 from downtown, 5 of 6 <laughs> from the free throw line. Couldn't ask for a more perfect night for R.J. Barrett. And then, as you said, Kemba, a, another solid night for Kemba, man. 19 points, 5 dimes, 4 steals for Kemba. Drew a couple charges, I think one charge in the end. He drew one on Josh Hart. 4-7 from downtown from Kemba, man. So Kemba continues his hot streak from uh, from beyond the arc, man. Great game for Kemba. That's Don't a fact. Don't on Kemba right now. He, he's he's, he's uh, buying in on the system just like everybody else on this team. People talk about his defense going into uh, signing with the New York Knicks. Four steals, very timely steals. If you ask me, if you look back at the, uh, the tape, don't sleep. Yeah, Kemba's definitely in his groove right now. He's had a nice yeah. stretch, very, very nice stretch for Kemba. So, um, again, great game by him. And then... You know, the combination of Kemba, Fournier, and RJ, bro, they went 15-23 from downtown. Mm. 
15 of 23. Knicks on a whole went uh, 19 of 33 from downtown, 57%. So the hot three-point shooting continues. And then Kemba, RJ, and Fournier alone went 15 of 23. Fournier chipping in with 19, 5 of 8 from downtown. Hit some big, big uh, threes in the second half as well. And, you know, again, it just goes to show you the, the balance of this offense. On a night where Julius only has 10, Still chipped in six boards, four dimes, you know, but on a night when he has a low scoring output, you can you can spread it around, whether it's Kemba, RJ now stepping in, Fournier stepping in. You know, some nights D. Rose will chip in and with double digits off the bench. Um, Obi, Obi had, uh, what did Obi do tonight? Well, Obi only had one point, yeah, but some nights one, yeah. it was Taj, actually. Taj, Taj actually Taj's had big, yeah, yeah. 13 points. Burks, my God, Burks chipped in with 10 tonight. So, mm-hmm. you know, the balance of the offense was, was on display tonight, and, and they needed it, man, because this Pelicans team would not quit. Five and one, man. It yes, feels sir. good. Feels very good. Uh, to all the fifty burger fans, with ten percent uh, completed of that goal, <laughs> we're, on our way. we're on our way. And uh, just to juice the fans a little bit more, uh, if you think about it, the great game that R.J. Barrett had. The kid's only twenty-one years old. He's about five years away from entering his prime. So if he just keeps up on the same trajectory, by the time he's twenty-six, man, who knows the type of player he's going to be? It's yep. going to be incredible. Um, you know, I know a lot of fans are disappointed with Julius Randle, but I think that uh, I think that uh, Julius is like he's he's obviously the best player on this team, and there's no way that the ball is not going to go through him at, at the end of the game unless mm-hmm. this guy completely falls off a cliff. You know, you have to play through Julius at the end of the game. Doesn't mean he has to take the last shot. Doesn't mean he needs to ball hawk. But you know, he, he it's going to go through Julius. Mm-hmm. Um. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is IQ because, man, like going into the season, I was pushing for IQ to be the Knicks starting point guard. And, you know, it's only six games in, but I see him like kind of struggling. And I just hope that, uh, you know, I mean, obviously has plenty of time, but I'm just I'm just hoping he gets it together. So let's go, Knicks. Another great win. Another nail biter. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to play Toronto on Monday. It's going to be great. You know, um, Clyde, when 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 quickly came in and Breen had uh, asked him about uh, about quick and his struggles, you know, Clyde said the same thing about quick that I had said about him in the preseason. And and my observation was that it just seems like he's he's trying to figure out who he is right now because he's he's trying to work on his craft as a point guard. And at the same time, you know, can he still be that shooter? And Clyde said the same thing. Clyde said the same thing on the telecast that, you know, he, he's trying to figure out, figure himself out right now, you know, in, in, in what his role is on the team. And you could see it. Everybody should have had an RJ mask on. That's what it should have been. You of go in your chin, put your RJ mask on. Because I've been trying to chill and be cool and be easy, play the role and position of a new guy, new players is on the team. Figure I'll try to play defense, you know what I'm saying, do something different for the team. But no, nah, y'all don't want me to do that. Y'all want to throw me up under the bus like I ain't got no game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here tonight and I'm going I'm to shut down the whole gym. So I ain't got to play no defense tonight because ain't nobody a threat on this team. So I'm going to go ahead and shut everything down and drop 35 like it ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? So you can remember me now, right? Remember me now. But I just choose to play defense, but don't get it twisted like I can't get these buckets. Don't get it twisted like I ain't been working on my game. Like I ain't working on my handle. Like I ain't got the mid. Like I, I can't get to the rack. Like I can't stop and pull up on yeah. a dime. Like yeah. I can't catch and shoot. All these things I don't work on and I got it in my repertoire, you know what I'm saying? I'm a reservoir dog when it comes to this, but I'm playing my role and playing my position. But y'all got to appreciate me wanting to play defense. But I still can shut down the people that think I ain't got no game. So I'm going to put all that to shame tonight, you know what I'm saying? Everybody stay easy and stay, stay patient and let us rock, you know what I'm saying? We 5-1. and one. Guess what? We tied for the whole best league in the league, man. We got we tied for the best record in the league, man. What was the last time? Can you say that? Yeah. Everybody was 0-0, zero 0-0, zero, oh oh, no wins, no losses? Nah, we tied for the best record in the league, man. Stand up, New York. I'm telling y'all to stand up all the way up, man. Get on your tippy toes. Do it. Use your vertical. Use your cast. Use your hair string. Get to your, your mid weight. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get your vertical. Stand Let's up, go. New York. We rocking. We doing what we got to do, man. You got to yeah, appreciate you know, what we got. We on the Toronto. Yeah, and rapping. Yeah.